Well, this has been a great, a great season for hit movies. Here with her own takes on the movies is our old friend, Aunt Linda. And Linda, long time no see. Well, <laughs> hello, Seth. <laughs> Someone's gotten some work done. Uh, I'm actually Colin. Uh, you haven't been here in a while. What have you been up to? Well, I'll tell you, Nosey O'Donnell. <laughs> I got divorced. Oh. My husband finally got hearing aids. Ten minutes later, he was on a bus. Oh, my God. Well, I'm so sorry, but we're excited for you to give us the latest take on all the hit movies out there. Well, my pleasure. Or should I say pain? Anyone else sit through that 90 minutes of Stinko called Barbie? <laughs> I didn't get it! Is she a doll that comes to life? It didn't make any sense! And where are they? On the moon? Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think Barbie took place on the moon. Yeah, and there was so much pink, the only good thing that came out of it is I was reminded to take my Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> and hey, America Ferrari, save your speeches for women's livers. I love wearing a bra. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was a very popular movie. Well, I don't know why. Oh, and that Ken character. Ryan Gosling? More like Ryan Gosling. I, 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 I think he just said his name the same place. It's very hard to make fun of. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'd give Barbie a couple of what in laws and four you girl. <laughs> the next film I watched was also a big one. Can you take a guess? Oppenheimer? Bingo, bango, bamo. <laughs> So you did not like Oppenheimer? Nopenheimer. <laughs> Directed by Christopher No Thanks. <laughs> Why the heck would anyone make a movie about the person who invented the microwave? <laughs> okay. Well, what, what else have you watched that confused you? Don't get smart, Tina and Amy. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know I ventured into the land of television along with everybody else. Now everyone stays home eating grass gummies, watching movies on the turlet. <laughs> All right, so what have you been watching on TV? Well, there was one show with a very misleading title. What was that? The Bear. <laughs> I thought it was going to be about bears living in the woods, or, or at the very least, a sitcom about a hairy, doughy gay man who has to raise his sister's kids. <laughs> And, and why is everyone in the kitchen so unorganized? Here's a novel idea. Hey, chef, stop doing so many sit-ups in your Calvin Clingers and hire more people. <laughs> They're understaffed. And, and I didn't learn how to cook one thing. Rachel Ray would be rolling in her grave. Rachel Ray is very much alive. Where did you come from? I've been here the whole time. Well, I give the bear one big fat what the fudge and 15 what's going on? <laughs> All right, Yikes. Linda, before you leave, there's got to be one thing that you liked. Not liked, loved. I laughed, I cried, I started again the minute it was finished. Oh, my God, what was that? Paw Patrol. <laughs> Dog saving the world in uniforms? Here's my ass and this film went straight <laughs> up. But... I got an idea. Send the pups to chop vegetables over at the bear. Why is he so upset? He found a bunch of money in the tomato sauce. And what the heck is Kennergy? <laughs> Aunt Linda, everyone. Oh, my God. The Weekend Update. I'm Colin Jones. I'm Michael Cherry. Good night. I'm Linda.